I'm not really ashamed of anything. You know, I'd, I'd say like, oh, I don't want him to see Teenage Dream by Katy Perry, but I'm openly, I, I that. love that. Yeah. I love that record. Perry, I mean, that's yeah. a great record, but mm-hmm. I'm not ashamed to like it. What's a record that I'm ashamed of? Like Bruce Hornsby or something? Or? <sighs> no, I love Bruce Hornsby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll openly say that uh, his production on that Don Henley song, the, uh, the End of Innocence, it's amazing. We're Foxygen. <laughs> uh, I, we play everything on the records between the two of us. We play all the instruments. Uh, I'm not a huge sandwich fan because um, I don't like cheese, and so a lot of sandwiches come with cheese on them. My dream sandwich would be uh, I'm San France. My dream sandwich is a salami sandwich with cheddar cheese on it <laughs> and mayonnaise. That sounds awful. Awesome. It's on the house Remember what I told you about the rooms inside this house But you don't love me That's uh, Got this album Ball by Iron Butterfly uh, They did Inagata De Vida And this is sort of like a stupid, really, really stupid record uh, it's, It sounds pretty dumb and I like it and it also has like a cool kind of uh, you know, thing. It has wow. this weird picture of these kind of freaky uh, people, kind of fucked up. Yeah, weird. So I like that a lot. Uh, that's cool. Let's see. Sorry, I'm getting more and more serious as this goes along. Uh, this is "Sign of the Times" by Prince. It's a great record. He speeds up his voice over the whole thing, or over like half of it. You know, it's pretty weird. Uh, this is Tusk. Uh, I don't know. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's Tusk. It's uh, yeah. It's just you know, it's Tusk. It's actually, this is like a reprinting of Tusk, I think, or it's. In well, we we uh, met the producer Ken Calais at Barnes and Noble. That's we right. Went to the, the his book signing of Making Rumors. Mm-hmm. I met him. He actually his daughter is Colby Calais, who did the song Bubbly, <coughs> that was kind of she was kind of a pop star uh, yeah. a few years ago, and they live in our neighborhood actually. Mm-hmm. They do, and, and he's going to help us make our next record. Uh, the guy who produced this and Rumors and all other albums. He's genius. That's, I mean, that's a really genius record. Lindsey Buckingham recorded like half of it in his bathroom. This is Boots by Nancy Sinatra, which is a record that I have been looking for for a long time. Uh, Hal, Pl- Hal Blaine plays drums on it, uh, who's the, the famous uh, drummer of the Wrecking Crew. He also plays drums on bookends which is a, a really good record and I just kind of wanted this because we were listening to some of it in the car also in the car we were listening to our drummer Sean is like a Donovan aficionado and he pulled up this album called Cosmic Wheel which is like I guess when was this made 73 Donovan and I had actually never even seen this cover before but it's completely ridiculous um, but and then the back is his face in a constellation which I like also I don't know what's going on inside of it either. I haven't even looked at. Oh wow! Shit! Wow! It's tarot card style. This art. is like pretty intense innards here going on. It's got a lyric sheet. Oh, this is great. These lyrics are amazing. What is this? Was that what we were listening to the other day? Is it Groovy Guru or something? Groovy Guru. <laughs> groovy Groovy Guru. What's it? Uh, yeah, I mean, all these lyrics are just so good. I'm an Earth sign mama. I want you to understand. She got acid saliva? She got acid saliva. <laughs> You're like, huh, where is the? Where is that one? Oh, Leave man. your genitals at the door She's or something? She's a sleazy, misteezy, black leather kid. Matahari. The She's intergalactic a- laxative will get you from here to Mars. So this is... Just or they don't partake in beefy burger mush. Also, check that out. Wow. So that's going on my wall too. So I think we came here and we got some posters. And it's very uh, cool. Yeah, I don't know if these are records necessarily that inspired us, but they're awesome. And I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> 